Conference Championship Series. Tonight's final score after an empty net goal, 6-3 in favor of the Sarnia Sting, and the series now tied at 2. Joined by London Knights, head coach Dale Hunter, along with co-captain Sean McGurn, and coach, uh, another early deficit from your team, but managed to fight back and even lead 3-2 at one point. Uh, but from there, things things didn't go your way. Maybe just give us your thoughts on tonight's game. Yeah, we battled back. Uh, we're down 2 nothing. We came back, and the kids kept working hard, and... Uh, Took the lead and they scored a couple quick ones uh, late in the second there, and that was the difference in the game. Sean, how, what were your thoughts on your on your team's effort tonight? Obviously, some momentum swings in that one, but uh, ultimately coming out in favor of the home side. Yeah, I mean, uh, I thought we didn't start on time tonight, but uh, we uh, we found a way to battle back, and uh, we got to stay consistent and play a full sixty to help us win. We'll open things up here, guys. Coach, going back home now for Game Five. What uh, what adjustments do you have to do you have to make? Well, definitely, you're on your own ice. It makes it makes a big advantage, and uh, you know our fans are good, just like here. Sarnia fans are good, so just go out and play a, a disciplined game and uh, and go play hockey. And what what was the explanation as far as the um, disallowed goal late in the second period when it was five three? It was in the final minute of the period. Uh, well, what did they tell you? Yeah, I just said that uh, contact with the goalie. And and Sean, from your perspective, uh, again going back home I mean that's obviously a big advantage for you guys yeah I mean we're excited to go back home I think uh, we love playing in front of our fans they, they give us a lot of energy so uh, we're we're excited for Friday uh, Sean uh, Ryan was out here last night he mentions you know the guys didn't get off to a good start obviously it had to get fixed tonight and you just mentioned you know happened again how does how does that happen when it, you know it's the one thing you have to, to fix yeah I mean uh, two two bad starts in a row uh, we got to find a way to be ready and uh, I think uh, we'll definitely talk about that tomorrow and regroup on Friday. Dale, how I mean, how do you find Zach is handling his uh, his first stage of the playoffs? Oh, he's a battler. That's one thing about uh, Zach. He's been battling all year. He's played well all year for us. He's got a great record, and uh, he'll keep battling. And I guess in the last couple of years, you know, you throw in the exhibition games, these teams have probably seen each other about two dozen times. I mean, what can you do differently against them, or is it just a matter of? getting back to your own game no like every year it changes so like you know you change like you know we added players in january they added players so every everything changes every year so it's a different team different after half a season it's different so everybody just goes out and plays the game as well as they can go ahead ray Sean, uh, this one's for you. Uh, obviously, as, a, as an OA in this league, and uh, you know, you guys have a, a young team with a lot of young guys. Uh, will be uh, some of the advice that you'll have uh, for for a lot of the young guys coming into uh, you know uh, Friday's game. Just uh, stay calm. I mean, it's a playoff series, and uh, we we've been here before, so uh, just be ready to go and give it all on Friday. Thanks, guys. We'll be right back with the Sarnia Sting. Welcome back to continued post-game coverage of Game 4 of the Western Conference Championship Series. Joined now by Sarnia Sting head coach Alan Latang, along with forward Nolan Burke and coach a brand new series, 2-2. Um, get ahead, get behind, but your team persevered tonight. Yeah, we faced uh, that little bit of adversity there. I thought our start was excellent again. <clears throat> um, our guys were ready, crowd was ready. A um, little bit of a, a lull, a little bit. We got we took, got ourselves away from the game a little bit, and obviously they capitalized. And that's the way all these games have been going, right? As soon as it, one team makes a mistake, someone jumps on it, and it's you know it's a scoring chance or potentially in your back of your net. But um, I love what we were saying in the room. Even even when I wasn't in there, the guys were talking, saying all the right things. I knew there was that little bit of you know confidence that they were still in it and they were still feeling it, which was which was good. And, and then uh, they came out and, and backed it up. Nolan, first start tonight, two goals and an assist. And think back to uh, coming into game three, you're trailing 2 nothing in the series. Does it feel good to know that you guys accomplished your goal of winning both games on home ice? Yeah, you know, um, I think the next day after we kind of lost and went down 2-0, we kind of just had a little meeting amongst ourselves, and we just kind of talked about, like, you know, they won two at home, now it's our time to win at home. You know, you're not in trouble to lose at home. And uh, we came out hard both games. We had a great start, and, um, you know, we just found a way to kind of close it out home in front of a crowd. And, yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's a brand-new series now, best of three, and, yeah, we're pumped. Very and coach, uh, I guess the adage is a series never really starts until the home team loses. Well, the home team hasn't lost yet. So what's the message now going to London on Friday night? Uh, we just, we get to go in and get another crack in there, right? Um, we played well in there in the regular season and we had our moments before, you know, they're, they're going to answer. They're, they're going to, like we said, I said, they're going to make you play a perfect game almost. They're going to, they're going to make us play a perfect series. They're going to keep coming. They're going to keep coming and, and we're going to keep answering and, and keep coming too. And I thought... Um, we've got to go in with that same 
mindset, right? The crowd is just white noise for us, and we're going in determined to, you know, play our game. And I thought even tonight we got to, we got to flashes of it really good, where we were, you know, we started to move pucks. We made a couple of real nice seam passes for goals, and that that's been us all year. And 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 we've got to stick with it and and stick to our identity. And Nolan, your uh, power play goal there in the second period after they come back to take the lead at, at 3-2. Uh, you guys scored twice in the power play and, and were two for four. But, I mean, you had some really good looks even on the power play opportunities that you didn't succeed on. Uh, what, what, what are your thoughts on the power play right now and how it's, how it's uh, coming together? Yeah, I think, you know, that's one of the biggest differences from the first two games is, um, you know, we're moving the puck really well right now. Um, we're, we're finding empty spots there and we're putting in our chances. You know, we, we had a lot of, we had, could have scored probably two or three more on the power play night. Uh, you know, it's, it's clicking really well right now. And for, for us to, you know, win this next best two out of three here, our power play is going to be huge for us. And I was looking at the uh, at the goal that Easton Wainwright scored. Coming out of the penalty box, he kind of, you know, got turned around. He could have easily sort of given up on that play, but he didn't. Uh, you know, uh, it was tenacious, went down the right side, kind of scored as he, was, as he was falling on his butt. I mean, is that kind of... That that's kind of a microcosm of what this team's been a, been about all season long. Yeah, exactly. You know, Wainer's one of our hardest players every night, hardest workers. Um, you know, he's always skating, he's always moving his feet. You know, he got rewarded tonight, and you know, I think that's one of the biggest differences again from the first two games. Is you know, all of us were moving our feet a lot better, we're supporting each other a lot better, and our forecheck's been a lot better. So yeah. And, and with that, uh, the secondary scoring coach. Uh, you know, tonight you had uh, you had Limpar Lance, you had Wainwright. Uh, the other night you had Limpar Lance and Sikic with a couple of assists and. Cooper Way had an assist tonight. I mean, that that's that's the key to playoff success, right? Is is that everybody everybody contributes? Hundred percent, right? We talk about no no passengers on the bus. Everyone's everyone's in the front seat driving, and that's that's what happens. You get down to the the final four, and it's four good teams slugging it out back and forth, back and forth, and it's you know a seven game series is a is a series of attrition, and you need secondary scoring. You need that. Uh, that depth in your lineup to play like no one gets here without depth without without secondary scoring our our, our top guys are gonna are gonna run the ship and run everything but the secondary guys have to contribute as much for sure yes coach um again in terms of that you know those secondary guys i don't know where you'd consider marcus in that group but you know making that that line change a couple games ago um why that particular change uh, i think it was just a couple things it it, it We'd gone back to it a few times through the regular season. It, it, it was successful early on with 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 Nolan and, and Voider there. And <laughs> Marcus doesn't say too much. He's just whatever I ask him to do, he'll he'll do. And we've got a lot of guys like that. If I asked him to play D for a game, <laughs> he probably would. And it's just he goes out about his business. He's quiet, but he's he's heavy around pucks. And I think it just you know we we got it we got it home and we needed just a, a little bit of a shakeup just to kind of refocus guys. And, and we went back to. You know what was comfortable for us. I didn't want to juggle everything because there was no panic from our room. You know, down 0-2, there was no panic. We knew what we had to do at home, and we we did it. But there was no no doubt, no secondary panic at all. And I mean, Nolan, that that, that no panic. Where does that come from in the guys? Yeah, no, I think it's it starts with a leadership group, and you know, we just try to relay the message as best we can um, to get everyone else on board. And um, you know, it's they listen. And these last two games, you know, especially with the home crowd, it's been it's been unbelievable. And yeah, no, it's just it's been good. And Alan had said, you know, the guys were saying the right things in the room even when he wasn't there. I mean, what were the things that that you were saying? Yeah, you know, we just I think we realized after the first two games that that wasn't good enough. Um, you know, I don't think we were I don't think we were skating hard. Our, our forecheck wasn't hard. We weren't, we weren't giving our defense any support back there. You know, they're they're going at our D hard in the neutral zone, and we were just kind of sitting back, gliding and. You know, I think I think now we've just been we've just been much better overall as a team. We've been supporting each other way better. We've been just kind of skating harder. And you know, when we're when we're skating hard and we're clicking like that, we're making those team passes. We're a tough team to beat. Nolan, one last follow up for you. Uh, you've been around here for a while. Uh, how cool is it to see some of the uh, the alumni coming back? We just saw them coming through the through, through the room here. We're waiting for you guys with Franco uh, Spavero and Jordan Cairo and and uh, Nolan Degersi and I'm missing some guys I'm sure but how cool is that for you guys yeah, to, you know, to get that support? Yeah it's it's super cool you know it's you know they I know Jordan had a great team as well um, you know guys he was here last year Goose was here last year you know Spro had a couple great moments for this team and you know them coming to support us it kind of just shows that you know they they kind of didn't have this crack at it that we have and we realized that they would kind of give anything to be in our spot so we're just gonna we're gonna keep playing for them as well and um, yeah just just keep using their advice. Thank you. Series all tied up at two and game five Friday night in London.